Okay, today I'm gonna go over how to use a recovery machine. First, we're gonna pump down a system and then we're gonna recover the rest because I have to change a leak and evaporator coil. So first things first, you're gonna have to run power over. You need your tank, an extra hose, your recovery machine, and your set of gauges. Let's, we're gonna have to access the unit. Wrong way. Okay. The reason for accessing it is that we will have to hold the compact and most likely in. Caps off. I do not want to work in this thing like this i'm gonna have to get a paintbrush or something to clean that up but first things first let's get the caps off let's get the system ready for a pump down we're gonna try to save as much of the refrigerant as possible into the condenser once you get to about 20 PSI, you're going to start to hear the compressor change sound. So first things first, we're just going to attach to our refrigerant circuit. Gauges up. And this is where we can see. First thing we have to do is we have to drive in our liquid side. Closing the liquid line off, and the suction line is going to draw back all the gas back to the unit. And now we're pumping down. Now, before it does a good pump, I just make sure your valve moves. So as you can see, the pressures starting to drop. So I have my wrench ready. And I'm just going to do it to where it equalizes. I'm not actually going to hold the contactor in. I'm going to recover the rest. There we are starting to drop. I'm going to start bringing my valve in. We're dropping, we're pumping down, and start to close. As soon it's going to equalize and stop, or the compressor will start to wrap. But our valve is still wide open. There's the compressor. It's starting to make the sound of a restriction. That noise that little rattle you'll hear that if you have a restricted unit what because we do have a restricted unit now so 
Now we're pumping down in here. I don't want to damage the compressor. Okay. Now we're off. Okay. So both sides are closed. Now we're going to recover the rest. So what you're going to do now is take the hose off your manifold and you're going to go in to your recovery tank. Then you're going to come off your recovery tank with a hose and in to your recovery cylinder. We're going to do gas. Last time I used this cylinder, I was pulling refri liquid refrigerant out of a unit. Okay, now we're going to open that. Both of these are closed right now. Okay. Now we're going to plug in our pump. Make sure your connectors are good before everything's straight. Okay. Pump is getting plugged in. Now we're going to power the unit, we're going to start, we're going to open, we're going to recover, now we're going to open. Now we're not actually doing anything yet, now we're going to open. Now we're pulling the gas out of our unit, through the pump and into the cylinder. This is how to recover refrigerant from an AC system. So initially we started with a pump down to put as much gas as we could inside the condenser. Now we're pulling the gas, the excess, into the container. Because you cannot fully pump down a 410A compressor usually. Usually they start to rattle and sound like crap. And a lot of times your low pressure switch will even start to shut you off. So don't damage your compressor. Just recover whatever you can't pump down. Once you start hearing that rattling, turn it off. That's the sound of a restriction. You don't want that. Okay, now we're down to about zero PSI. I'm gonna let this run for about another minute. Now that we've pumped the gas out of the system, the next thing we have to do is turn off our recovery machine. So since we're now starting to pull into a vacuum, we can close our system. Off. Then we can close our inlet port. Now we can purge. We're purging out the machine. Whatever's in here, it's taken and putting in there. Once we hit zero, well, close, close, and then close. And this is how to recover refrigerant. Also, what well, we started with a pump down then we went into recovering the refrigerant. Hit thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and check out all my other HVAC repair videos. Till next time, I'm out.